ikufikiria kuwa na chumba cha wagonjwa mahututi nyumbani kwako. John Obiko anayeugua ugonjwa wa kupooza mishipa ya navu alifanyiwa chumba hicho na wazazi wake mtaani Langata hapa Nairobi ili kupunguza gharama ya hospitali na baada ya kukosa kuongea wala kutembea kwa karibia miezi kumi, wanamshukuru Mungu kuwa John na uvuka mwaka akizungumza kama zamani. Lofti Matambo alitembelea familia hiyo na kisha kuiandaa taarifa ifuatayo. Kwamba John yuaimba leo ni muujiza. Waliomuona John miezi miwili iliyopita watasadiki hilo. It was around uh, February the day after Valentine's Day. Hii ilikuwa siku ya kufuzu kwake John mwanzoni mwa mwaka 2019. Alikuwa mwingi wa afya, bashasha na matumaini. I am a graphic designer. I had just graduated and then I had started working. I didn't even stay at work for even more than two weeks. Kabla ya kupokea mshahara wake wa kwanza, John mwenye umri wa miaka 24 yalimfika tarehe 14 Februari. When I woke up in the morning, I had a twitching of my eye and I had fatigue. Akapelekwa hospitalini Aga Khan, alipogunduliwa kuwa na maradhi yajulikanayo kama GBS. I was put under and then I woke up two months later at the ICU Aga Khan. So I never got the chance to understand what GBS is. Kwa mujibu wa shirika la afya duniani, GBS ni Guillain Barre syndrome. Maradhi ambayo yanafanya mwili kupiga vita viungo na mishipa ya navu. Watu wazima haswa wanaume huathirika. Yanaweza kusababisha kupoza kwa mwili wote. Yanaweza vile vile kuwa tishio kwa maisha. I was initially I was told that nilikuwa nimefika tipping point. Either ni nikufe ama ni ni rudi you know to the land of the living kwa miezi sita haya ndio yamekuwa makao ya John chumba cha wagonjwa mahututi Aga Khan wengi waliomuona hapa hawangeamini kwamba taamka tena lakini kutokana na gharama iliyozidi zaidi ya shilingi milioni 23 wazazi wa John walishauriwa kumfanyia chumba cha wagonjwa mahututi nyumbani msamaria mwema akawapa chumba kwenye jumba hili bure ambaye anaitwa bwana Mwaura akajitolea akatuambia ana nyumba ambayo angejitolea kutupatia huko Langata. Kwa miezi mitatu chumba hiki kikampa huduma hizo John hakuwa mgonjwa wa chakula wala maji. Mwezi mmoja uliopita John akapata pumzi ghafla. The fact that I'm here and talking to you right now is a miracle. Hata hivyo John bado anakabiliwa na ugumu, anahitaji kusaidiwa kwa hali zote. Uenda hili likastajabisha wengi huduma ya mgonjwa mahututi nyumbani ila babake John anasema ilisaidia pakubwa ijapo gali. Ilikuwa inatugarimu kiasi cha karibu nusu milioni kila mwezi kugharamia nursing care, madawa, mm, chakula. Bili ya hospitali inafikia kiwango ya milioni 23 na laki sita. Kwa waisani na marafiki baby namba yetu ni 781975 mitambo hii ambayo hupatikana tu katika chumba cha wagonjwa mahututi imekuwa chumbani mwake John kwa zaidi ya miezi tisa. haitumiki tena ishara kwamba uhai unarudi kitimilifu katika maisha yake Lofti Matambo Kitchen News Nairobi.